as the sun has started to come out. It's a little chillier today. Um, I'm wearing my scarf, which is, I've mentioned before, but I think it's worth mentioning again, that with throat cancer, you want the color purple around your neck. And I made a decision as this eclipse has unfolded that I am going to get a guitar and I'm going to go back to singing. I used to play guitar when I was younger and sing in a coffee house. So I actually have a fairly decent voice or did have many years ago. I, I sang in a choir, uh, was an alto of all things. So this little tiny blonde thing. I was in a church called Maranatha. It was all black church. And so I was like one of the very few white faces in my church and God loved me. I love people of culture and uh, various types because, you know, quite frankly, I know what it is to be white and it's kind of boring if that's all I am. And yeah, so it's not my thing to um, stay in one little place and, and call it good. I like to explore and I like culture and part of the reason I, I love here, this place, is, is again, the local people. I love the local people. Now I realize the local people don't always love us back. But that's because we've earned that privilege from them. We've treated them like, well, you know, you, we've come to this beautiful location, paradise, and, well, you're here to serve. And actually, during the Iron Man, of all the funny things that you could imagine, they're asking the people here to volunteer to be disrespected in a way. And we were disrespected during, and I'm, I, I realize I say this, but that's going to probably irritate people because they love the Iron Man. And I think the Iron Man has its place. But when you have to close down roads and impact the local people's lives, and then you want them to volunteer, and then you act like your 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 butt hurt if they, you know, if they have to uh, somehow get someplace because, well, you're riding right down the middle of the road and, you know, what you're doing is way more important than what they're doing. You know, you never know. That could be wrong. That could be a, an assumption that's incorrect. And so for all these reasons, you know, I find the established, wealthy kinds of things to be rather not so nice. But that's not what this little conversation is about. I'm waking up in this sense today to who I'm striving to become as I move forward. I'm going to open my soul up. I am going to start singing so that I can help vibrate back into my throat area, my throat chakra, the energy of joy and love and hope. For a long time, I felt like I might as well have had a stitches put in my lips to keep my voice quiet. And of all the things, <laughs> there's, there's been a story about this. When I was younger, I was in a car accident where a young woman was on methamphetamine, went through a stop sign and took my entire front end of my car off going 85 miles an hour. I was on a main thoroughfare, so I was on a busy street. She was coming off a side street took my entire front end off and at the time I stood up on my brakes my daughter was in the car and she said I hit her so hard knocked her backwards and so hard she said she she didn't know I had that kind of power so at the time I got I got hit it was just a fraction of a second that she didn't come into my door and kill me so the entire front end of my car gets knocked off the it just gets wiped off my wiped off the planet and I get, I turn three times and land backwards on a tree and just avoid hitting a child, which is like, oh my God. I mean, I would have just been devastated had my car hit a child. And so in this process, my jaw gets massively broken. Again, I need all the healing up in this part of my body. I have Mars and Gemini where I need to p provide that that electromagnetic love and healing from the higher resonances for this process because it's a it's a pattern that's followed me i don't speak because well i'm a good little woman and i and i learned to listen to my satirian husband who tells me how to think and obviously no one wants to be 
that person. We we don't realize it when we're younger, when we think when we think love means, you know, that I that I I become one with you, that I'm going to give up my identity for you. I think that is when we say one with you, I think that's a mistake. And I think that, you know, for me right now, I'm in the process of realizing many things and spirit is is massaging my brain right into reality here and and you know I'm sure there's much much more to learn but but I'm grateful because it's all about growing it's all about growing up spiritually emotionally what are we here to do we're here to raise our higher consciousness we're here having a great I am Christ conscious experience and so with that I don't have much else, but thank you so much for joining me here on this channel. And please do hit the like, share, and subscribe. Join me over on my YouTube book of reading. And I look forward to meeting with you, hearing your stories. And let's make this a collective process of healing. Thank you so much for joining me here.